This is a three octave G scale. Starting on low G, you only have one option of where to play a low G. All the way up to the high G on the 15th fret of the highest string. Now, the concept here is I did tab it out, but as you can see, although I have written this out in tab, the object of this exercise is to play the G three octave G major scale extremely slow, four beats per note, giving you the option of, and the time to think about the options for the next note. So your next note is A. You have there, and you have the open A string. So you have two options. Okay, the next note is B. Once again, you have two options. So while you're on that A note for four beats, you're thinking I can go here or I can go here. And you make your choice and you go there. C, two options. Now D, we have three options. We start to get a little more here. E, same thing. F sharp. And G, now we have four options. Look at that. And so on and so forth, all the way up to the high G. So every time you do this exercise on a daily basis, perhaps, try to come up with another way to play the three octave G major scale. That's the object of this exercise. Not just to play it because it's nice to play a long form scale, but to realize you have a lot of options on the fingerboard. So if we play this extremely slowly, we could start to develop our brain to think about the options in the moment. Okay, let's move on.